Outsiders! Hey, didn't they say in school not to use that word? Oh, oops. Hello. Hello there. Is this new-looking building your school? That's right. The village chief built it. For the future of the village. A school? It's a bit plain compared to the rest of the town, don't you think? Are you kidding? We didn't have anything like this in my village. We always did want one, though. I'm Slenge, the chief of this village. What brings you two all the way out to our tiny corner of the continent? Oh, well, we're looking for... We're here for work, researching what people eat out on the frontier. Stuff like that. Your efforts are very much appreciated. Thankfully, our village has been spared the ravages of famine. In fact, it's even more bountiful than in years past. And we have the chief to thank for it. If there's anything we can help you with, don't hesitate to ask. <laughs> you say that like you own the place. Seems like a nice village. Sort of reminds me of Alicia. Saray. I know, I know. We'll split up and try and find some clues about the Pope. Gadadin sure seems like a happy village. Indeed, everyone here is so positive and active. They're all like family here. But I still can't feel the blessing of the Seraphim. True. The Guardian Seraph is missing. It seems that this place used to be rather barren. But it looks like the current chief was able to overcome these issues. I can tell the people here respect him a whole lot. I imagine they do. This would normally be such a desolate environment. Yeah, not just anyone could pull that one off. Rose? Is something the matter? Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. I'll tell you more once I've had time to investigate. What's wrong? It's strange. This village seems rather prosperous. And that's a problem? The issue is why? Their source of income. Right. The land in this area is infertile and hardly fit for farming or hunting. It's far from any major thoroughfare and they have no local products to export. Isn't that weird? You'd think a place like this would be the first to fall victim to famine. There must be some explanation for all this. wrong, Edna? Nothing. Just thinking about how Meebo insulted me earlier. Oh, I see. 
Anyway, it looks like there's some kind of ruin in the back of the village, and it's a pretty darn old one to boot. How old do you think? It's probably from before the Dark Period. It might be even older than I am. You don't mean from the Temperance of Avarost? If that's true, then this is an incredible find! Wait, hey, uh, Edna? How old are... What? <sighs> Never mind. Dezel, have you found any clues about the Pope yet? No. Well, if you do come across anything, let me know. One thing bothers me. The Chief. There was something out of place in his personal effects. His glasses! Lenses are a precious rarity. They're usually only available to those of nobility or holy orders. And Slenge only showed up here recently. There's dots there if you want to connect them. You mean to say the Chief is... I'm just saying the possibility is there. Don't quote me on it. I'll look further into it. Thank you. Don't. Huh? All I'm saying is there's no need to thank me. All right. There's a ruin! Wait! You think they came here to apprehend the Chief? They better not. Without our chief, Gadadin is doomed. There's no cause for worry yet. As long as they stay out of the Pure Land, we'll be all right. Malevolence! Let's go. There was malevolence coming from the chief. Why? I bet we'll find the answer inside that ruin. Yeah. Norman collecting already. How is that possible? Everyone knows you love him. You've even got one on your umbrella. Rose, better not to mention the mascot. It gets long. I love long stories. Go ahead, lay it on us. 
Okay, but don't say I didn't warn you. This little guy here? You can pull out his head to stretch out his neck, like a giraffe. That's what you meant by it gets long? Same goes for the nose, too. Max length, 1.5 times its height. Ew, that's not even a Norman anymore. That's right. This thing's like a talisman, an amulet, a rabbit's foot, a periapt, that sort of thing. I don't quite get it, but sure. A charm you carry because it's special to you, right? Not really. It was given to me, so I put it on. This aroma. A destroyed entrance, huh? Well, that looks hopeless. Oh, does it now? Edna, you could use your powers. Give it a try. I certainly might. If you were to ask like so. Lady Edna, please do something about these rocks. This is no time to be joking around. Miklio can't take Lady Edna anywhere, can he? Oh, for... are you still hung up on that? Come on, spit it out. Lady Edna, I beg you to move these rocks which I, the pitiful Mebo, cannot. Hey, that's longer. Well, I charge interest. Edna, I think that's enough teasing for now. We need you to do something about these rocks, Edna. Please help us. I didn't mean you. Maybe not. But I'm as guilty as anyone here of taking you and your powers for granted. Even though I've seen malevolence born from that very mentality. Gratitude is vital in all actions. Whether you're worshipping the Seraphim, or simply journeying with friends. Seriously, it's fine. I'll give you my ability, the giant strength. FYI, Saray doesn't get jokes. Nice. I'll try breaking down these rocks that the meek and pitiful Mebo couldn't. Not you too! He really doesn't get jokes. What mighty power! Oh? What is this place? Some sort of warehouse? You got that right. For the stuff that's quickly becoming all the rage amongst the nobility these days. Elixir? It's fake. Uh, but my body feels oddly warm. That's because it's packed with energy drink garbage. Did I mention this stuff is highly addictive? Make one sale and we'll race back for more. Pretty devious. So, is this stuff being sold officially under the authority of the Church? The certificate carries the authentic stamp of the Church of Rollins, but it looks like the sales profits are all going to this village. So that's what you meant about tracking the flow of money. If there's someone in Gadadin who can create an official certificate... It has to be the missing Pope! That explains the village's mystery funds. And the malevolence from the Chief. So they're either conspirators or... Or the Chief is the Pope. You! What are you doing in here?! That has to be... Return to... Oh, could it really be? The Chief? You know, you're pretty mature, Rose. Coming from you, I'm not sure how to take that. What now, Edna? And you're, you're such, such a kid. kid. <sighs> <gasps> it 
It's not the Chief? So you are here to capture the Chief! I knew it! I'll die before I allow that! Enough! What is the meaning of this? Are you... Pope Macedra? I see you've done your homework. What would drive you to do such a thing? I would ask the same. I never desired the title of Pope. So then, why must I continue to perform its functions? I originally joined the Holy Order in order to give a small blessing, a glimmer of hope, to my family and those around me. But that is all. But there are so many who cherish you. Sergei and the rest of the knights, and... I know that! That's why I worked so hard. I did all I could. I toiled for years and years with no self-regard for the sake of everyone. And then... I took a look around me, and there was no trace of my family left behind. They had scorned me as a man with no regard for his household. What was it all for? What fruits had I to show for my endless labors? Were you involved with the war against Highland? I abandoned everything. The war, my country, even my people. At that point I was beyond all caring. I fled into the forest to meet my death, but these folks rescued me. The good and gentle people of Gododin ask nothing of me, content merely to treat me as if I were one of their own family. And so naturally he wanted to give something back to the village. Even if it meant dealing fake elixir. I care for neither the Empire nor the Church. Call me a coward if you like, but now I live for the sake of... My family, the villagers. Your family? Hmm. <sighs> I can sympathize with him for sure, but nevertheless, we need to bring him back. We can't get the spiritual powers without deciphering the inscription. And the Cardinal is too much to handle for the Knights alone. But, on the other hand, without the protection and leadership of the Chief, what will become of Gadadin? The same could be said for Pendrago. You see the problem? It was him running away that caused this mess. Why should he get a free pass? There's gotta be a way around this. Maybe he could crack the code for us and head right back here? But you know what the knights in the church are like right now. You think they just let him walk away? <sighs> <gasps> Chief! Are Chief! you okay? There's no cause for alarm. My need here is finished. Everyone, please calm yourselves. Worry not. We are safe. The man standing before you is the real Shepherd. Shepherd, there's something I dearly hope you will understand. The villagers bear none of the blame here. This was all my doing. I just wanted to know the truth. That's all. So I'm leaving, as of now. Is that okay? I'm not sure. But what I do know is that you seem to trust this fellow. And that's enough for me. Rose. Some things in the world come down to more than just black and white. I am sure Sergei and the Knights will understand as well. 
But the real issue is, how are we going to get through the Cardinal's domain? Yeah, that. I wonder if we can crack it. The inscription's code? What, ourselves? It's not that crazy, is it? It's a man-made puzzle, after all. Might even be fun. That may be, but we better at least ask the sky for a hint or two. Shepard, if you don't mind, please follow me. Wait, that's... What is this? <gasps> the Shepherd is granted four powers. Earth, water, fire, and wind. They are the blade that shall cleave the Lord of Calamity. Scattered across this land are the Shrines of Trials. They too are of earth, water, fire, and wind. Tests they are of power and spirit. The power is brought forth in the spirit, and the spirit captures the power. With balance may malevolence be purified. With imbalance does the body smolder and burn. Test thyself, Shepherd, and brandish thy might. Rise to the challenge, and stake thy will on the outcome. The sacred inscription! He had it memorized? Not bad, even if it's still gibberish. What he means is... We can obtain four different powers in four different places, and for each one you have to pass a trial, I think. What he said. Got it. So we just have to find those places. Yeah, or... don't tell me this is one of them. Indeed it is, Shepard. This is Igraine, the Shrine of the Trial of Fire. May we enter? Funny time to start asking permission, I guess. The Shrine of the Trial is rife with danger. I cannot guarantee your survival. Will you still go? Of course! Hidden powers in a secret shrine? I'm there! Then go forth, young shepherd, and face your trial. This place exists for you. Giant strength, huh? I hate to admit it, but Earth Seraphim sure are powerful. Ugh. Edna? Ouch! After using giant strength, my body gets all kinds of sore. Can you just try not to touch me? Oh, s sorry. As you can see, I have a slender build. So by nature, I can't really hold anything heavier than an umbrella. I'm the most ladylike lady that ever ladied, you know. Well, whatever. But it does make sense that using such great power has a trade-off somewhere. Just don't tell Saray about it. I don't want him to get all worried about me. Yeah, that's probably for the best. And just so we're clear, it doesn't mean that it's okay to touch me whenever I'm not using my powers, got it? Yeah, I know. Awfully old, doesn't it, Miklio? Sure does. This qualifies as a major discovery. Oh man, I can feel my whole body burning up with excitement! Pretty sure that's just the heat.
hold back. Get burned fighting this one. It'll turn into a ball of fire and charge. But it sure has some guns rolling around like that. Go, my children! Come on, my enemy! Let's go! 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 let us go 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 I won't run back! No! Let's go run! Who's next? Get on! Let's get up! It's over! Ready to get it! Yeah! Come here! Alright! Here it is! Alright! We can drag it! Let's get it! Let's get it! Ready to go! Yeah! Come here! Let's get it! Let's get it! see a seraph using a staff like a club. I mastered it while practicing. So we can't just step around them. Yeah! 
destroyed. That was a tough enemy. Let's prepare for our next battle. Covered in flames, so it's Rose 4, pretty much. Let's get him! Sweet dreams! Right on! Here it goes! Break on through! Say zero! Not yet! Here's the skies! Arrow fly! Over the flood! Here I go! Make it a sweep! Nice to be able to put my hair up with a barrette, right? What's a barrette? You don't know what a barrette is? Were you born in, in a, a barn? barn? Have you been living under, under a, rock? a rock? There must be herbs around here.
Launch of attack! Look out! Open the floodgates! Bubble barrel! Punch it! Say zero! Powerful arts! Let's use the skies! Arrow squall! Wonderful! Open the floodgates! Bubble arrow! Like a tiger Say zero! What a formidable opponent! are among stronger spider helmets. Be careful of its merciless consecutive attacks. Ready 
How are Saray's capabilities as a shepherd? something nearby. There's a treasure chest near us. It's over! Alright! Mega Nightmare! Peace! 
Do not underestimate. Saray, look around you. Seraphim and humans can coexist will come? They can't even see us. But what if they could? They still can't hear us. <laughs> well, what if they could see and hear us too? We have different values. Oh, right. That's a good point.
Isn't it almost too neat of a coincidence that this turned out to be a shrine of trials? I believe it. There's vermilion ore all over the place, after all. Good point. Vermilion ore is only formed in the aftermath of the use of powerful fire seraphic arts. By powerful, you mean like Lila's arts? I'm afraid not. My flames are yet too weak to create vermilion ore. Meaning there's an art user out there even stronger than Lila. Rest. So this is the Shrine of Musif, one of the Five Lords. He was the first Seraph to call forth flame. It is said that he appears only at the beginning and the end of the world. Meaning we don't want to meet him. So... now what do we do? That stone slab sure looks fishy. Don't know what it is, but maybe we can take a stab at it. Take a slab at it. Ancient lettering. It's not encrypted or anything. I can read it. To those of good will who would stand against evil. Place thine hands upon the monuments in the cardinal directions, and my, Musif's purifying flames shall be bequeathed unto thee. Whoa, dang, you're all smart and stuff. Eh, I like ruins. So, what does it mean? Well, um, basically, if we put our hands over the four monuments, We'll get the power of Musef, I guess. Well, shoot, that sounds easy enough. Oh, no. There! Must be his domain. Dang it, all together. Let's go! 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 Let's go!
Always scan this section. This one isn't a Hellion. Well spotted. This form you see is but a facade. May we presume you are one of the Protector Seraphim who serves the Lord Musif? Quite so. I am Exio, the Protector Seraph of Fire. <laughs> Were you acting as a Hellion just to test us? I needed to verify you were worthy of receiving the blessing. Be not aggrieved. 
And the result? You pass the trial of strength. Accordingly, I shall grant you the power of music, deity of fire amongst the five lords. Lift up your sword. Thank you, Exio. These flames shall carve the binding brand. Binding brand? It is very simple. Choose either yourself or your fire seraph, and with these flames, char their face. Huh? Don't fret. You're not going to die. That is not the problem. You sought to undertake this trial. Are you not prepared for the consequences? Answer me, Shepard! To whom shall you direct those flames? What shall they scorch? I... attempt to carry the burden entirely alone. In its enormity, it will surely wound you. And then, once more. And I cannot allow the same mistake to happen. I'm so sorry. I wasn't myself. Beth Miss Mioma! Incredible. Whoa, what was that power? The spiritual power of fire left by Musif. The power needed to break the Hellion's domain and to stand against the Lord of Calamity. An excellent answer, Shepard. A Hellion? Wasn't it purified? Not a Hellion. This is my true form. Oh? Well, I guess that's all right then. <laughs> Nothing gets past you. Just what I'd expect from one who passed both trials. Ah, so it was a test of strength and spirit. Let us exchange introductions once again, Shepard Soray. I am the Seraph Exio. So this was all intentional? Pretty devious of you. Unavoidably so, yes. It is the Shepherd's fate to oppose the deviousness of humans. If the theatrics were perhaps a little much, well, I was after all once human myself. Really? My, my, you really don't know anything, do you? Long have I been a Seraph, but I was not born as one. two types of Seraphim. Those who were born into it, and humans who became Seraphim at some point. Is that right? That's news to me. So, were the turtles Seraphim just turtles before? You're Lila, correct? You obtained the, the flames case. of purification through the Norman Seraphim came from just... Norman. Hold on a sec. It must have taken Norman. great determination. What was it you they lost look sort to of like obtain bears, the power? But they also have mousy kind of bits, too. Nothing. Then just by why being just here, Saray gives me back far more than I ever lost. That would just be too easy. Hmm. I... what now? Oh, nothing. I was just saying you're like an apple gel. You both restore health and taste great. Huh? 
<laughs> For a shepherd, you're more amusing than I had expected. What's that supposed to mean? People keep saying things like that. I'm sure it's a good thing. Come on, let's go. Three trials yet remain. Keep your wits about you, and be ever steadfast. Ancient tongue. We're near one. <laughs> 